Hi everybody, this is Taz. Welcome to Taz's Wig Closet today. So first off, we're going to play the mystery wig game. I have on a wig that I have reviewed before, but just not in this color. So let's see how good you really are on guessing wig styles and colors. Okay, so are you ready to get started today? Hi everybody, this is Taz, and today I am going to bring you a look at a very special wig. This is Kate Mono by Belle Madame. And the color is Swedish Blonde Root. This is perfect timing for this release of this hair. Uh, Heather at Sister Wigs brought this on for just a limited time only until the end of February. So uh, check it out. This is the most romantic hair that you can think of. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, perfect timing. So Kate is a very long style by Belle Madame. If anybody has any experience or knows anything about Belle Madame, you know that it's an upscale European brand wig and it's typically sold at very high price points uh, abroad and in, in specialized boutiques. So we're lucky to have these options. Uh, Kate is a long style, as you can see. So let's get an up close on the color first, and then we'll go into the specs of the wig. All right, so Swedish Blonde Brute. You're going to find a lot of really light platinum uh, blonde around the face and, around, and on the top. Underneath, it's, uh, there's a little bit of a hint of butterscotch in the color, although it's still very light. And then it generally has a little bit of a darker root to it. So there is much dynamic blondes going on in here, but the overall appearance is a very light blonde. All right, so the specs of the wig, we have it a nine and a half inch uh, bang area. And guys, this is the perfect length for a bang because it perfectly frames the face. It looks very flattering on all face shapes. And it's so light, it just stays right out of your face. So you don't have to worry about really long bangs just sort of flopping and what am I gonna do with those? And so we have a 12 and a half inch crown area and a 13 inch nape. So all in all around 22 inches, I would say, is the overall length of the style. Now you'll see these soft, wavy, almost coily curls in the back. Uh, very romantic, very soft princess hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a spin for you. Um, also this wig weighs four and a half ounces, so very light for a very long style. And I think that's because these fibers are very feathery and fine and denure. And they just move so effortlessly. Now what you will also notice with any of the lace fronts that you see uh, with the Belle Madame line are so finely done. Again, we're working with an up scale brand here, so you would expect these premium features in a wig like this. It's an absolutely undetectable lace front. It's a very fine lace front, so you have to be very careful with a lace front like this just because it is so delicate, but the upshot is that it's very, very realistic. And then Kate has a mono top as well. I'll go ahead and do a spin for you. Can you sense the effortless movement of this hair and all these romantic waves? 
I, you know, I can really see this as being a wedding wig also. We've got wedding season coming up, and I'm sure this wig would be uh, very conducive to a lot of the really neat updos and flowers and bling and things like that for, uh, for wedding hair as well. So that's actually a bit of a shadow of my own bio hair there. And I think it just gives some illusion of a root, a darker root. The coverage is awesome. That's about as good a coverage as I typically get, especially with my uh, the sides grown out like this. All right, I will be back with you and we're going to take a look at some fun things that we can do with Kate Mono. Would you just look at how cute this is in just a little bit of a partial updo? You can accent with some bling or some little flowers. Okay, here I have it parted on the right as opposed to the left, and then a very loose bun in the back. Okay, next I have everything clipped back in a very low pony. I really love this style. The way the waves of the, of the wig are constructed, it just makes for a really cute pony. can take it all the way off, off of the face and clip it back in a, in a high uh, partial updo. The mono top on this wig is amazing and together with that very fine lace front, very realistic. Hi everybody, we've got some bright sunshine here in Ohio today. Very unusual for the beginning of February, uh, but it's not very warm. So I went ahead and put on a ski coat just to show you that uh, this style can be pretty awesome with some casual winter looks. Here's a look at the color in the bright sunshine. Thanks guys. Talk to you soon. I think guys are a little large to the Thank you. Okay.
Yeah, do we have one of those? Or two. So welcome back. Um, my husband and I were out all day today. This is Saturday. Uh, we went out to lunch. We went shopping. Uh, we went browsing around and uh, we were out probably six hours. So I wore this wig the whole entire time. And um, I just want to remark about how super comfortable it was the entire time. And I have not brushed it uh, once. So uh, for a long wig, it's just amazing. It feels amazing and it doesn't get too stringy um, to where you're brushing and maintaining it constantly. It's just awesome. And uh, I really like the way the curl pattern is on the back and again that realistic density. And I love the color. Okay, so here is the big reveal for the mystery wig of the day. Um, again, I have reviewed this wig before, but just not in this color. Has anyone guessed? This is May by Noriko in the color Sugarcane R. The last color that I reviewed was Marble Brown, um, and I love them both very much.